Today's practice begin in child's pose. Breathe into the body and feel the length of the spine. Today, I am grateful to find time to relax and unwind, to have the financial stability to own a television and to be able to enjoy entertaining shows. These things not everyone has and they are something to be grateful for. Go ahead and walk your fingertips off to the left corner of the mat. Breathe into the right side body as you continue to find length. Mindfully walk your hands through center off to the right corner. Breathe into the left side body. Staying in child's pose, bring your hands back through center and then press into your palms, find downward facing dog. Hips come high, curl the toes under, just pedal through the knees as you feel length through the backs of the legs. Extend to plank pose on or off the knees. That's your choice. Use the strength of your arms as you bend the elbows in towards the ribs, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, lead with your heart, upward facing dog. Exhale, come through lying all the way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side, massaging the spine. Extend your legs straight and find reclined pigeon. So hook your left heel over the right thigh. Figure four, press the low back into the yoga mat. And then reach between the gap of the knee and thigh. Pull gently onto the right leg towards your heart. Relax back. Feel the glute open up. Close your eyes and relax deep into this pose. Television, movies, even YouTube has its pros and cons. If you don't let it consume you, but you utilize it in a healthy way, it's something to be grateful for. Release your legs and change sides. Hook the right heel over the left thigh. Grab onto the left leg as you gently pull the knee towards the chest. Close your eyes and breathe. Release the legs, extend them straight for just a moment, letting that blood and oxygen circulate. Then plant your left foot down, bring the right knee into the chest. Gently grab on this time, really deepening the breath into the hip joint as you lengthen through the back of the leg, straighten the knee and pull the foot towards the chest, towards the face, wherever you can find a little more length in the back of the knee. Exhale, release and change sides. Keep the right foot down, right knee bent. Hug the left knee into your chest. For a moment, just notice it. And then go for straightening the left leg. If that's available for you, continue to pull that leg towards your face. Deep inhales, deep exhales. It's totally normal to feel some tightness in this area, so continue to utilize the breath as you find length. A few more moments here. Take one more breath on this side and then release the left leg. Bring both feet onto the yoga mat. 
inhale lift your hips up bring your hands by your sides press through the heels as you find bridge pose tuck the chin stretch and find strength through the backside body Exhale, lower down one vertebrae at a time, coming into the final pose in this practice. Extend the legs straight. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Feel the rise and fall of the chest as your breath flows in and out. Close your eyes. Relax the body. Relax the mind. Relax the breath. Shavasana. Stay here as long as you need. Comment below and let me know what TV show is your favorite right now. I am so thankful you practiced yoga with me today. Don't forget to click subscribe and join me in this 30 days of gratitude challenge. Each day is a new yoga video practice and a new thing to be grateful for.